What's up, y'all? It's your girl Leah back with another video. Today we are in Atlanta, Georgia. We're going to be reviewing a house listed for $749,999. It is four beds, three bathrooms. I don't know what the square footage on this home is because they don't have it listed and it was built in 1983. Also, guys, please understand that I'm a North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia and Georgia real estate professional and none of these comments are made with ill intentions towards anyone that is associated with these transactions or with this transaction. So please don't take it to heart. It's for entertainment purposes only. If you need any assistance buying, selling, or investing in any of your real estate needs, definitely reach out to me. I will do whatever I can to assist you. I will leave my first time home buyer's guide in the description down below. You can download that completely for free and I will coach you through the entire process of homeownership. So I can't wait to hear from you guys. Let's go ahead and hop into the review. Why do we not have the square footage? What are we doing? Why are we playing games? This house, the grass looks atrocious. We should have been doing some landscaping, for sure. We should have been putting down some artificial grass or hiring a landscaping company to come out there and do what they need to do. But this doesn't look good. I guess for 749,000 or almost $750,000, I guess it's not horrible, but it's definitely like not what I would expect, especially in Atlanta. And then this might even be given more of a container home than that last house that we saw. This is definitely with the outside and it looks like they potentially painted. I want to see what the house looked like before we, um, before this moment right here. There's a lot of doors to enter into the home too, which is kind of strange. I've never seen this many doors in the front. So there's, and there's one right there. Why we didn't just make those windows, right? When we go into the, the house, it kind of looks like it's closed in area we don't know what the square footage is since though they decided not to put that on here and it's given dark especially this bathroom oh oh my gosh they're not even showing us everything the inside of the bathroom so it's not even three full bathrooms it's literally two and a half bath what are we doing this is nice i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sit here and act. i don't think that this is nice because i actually really do and it could just be the furniture. I'm hoping that it's not just the furniture. I'm liking the lighting. I'm liking the ceilings. I'm liking how they got it laid out. It looks really nice. So, uh, you know what? Whoever decorated this house, they did what they needed to do. They did their big one. Because this looks good. You know what I mean? I don't know. How do you guys feel? Y'all think that it looks okay? Or like, are y'all not a fan of it? I like the uh, fireplace. I like the electric fireplace they got going on. Um, I'm really trying not to let the furniture blind to me though. They have two fireplaces. There's one fireplace here and then there's another fireplace right there. And they, they had some very, very, very nice design choices as far as like, if they did get it staged or if they're like, actually living in the house, it looks really good. Oh, dang. This house is fire. But then again, it could just be freaking decorations. Like, they be, it's hard not to pay attention to it, though. I love the lighting. All the light fixtures are super nice. The outside of the house isn't that nice, but definitely the inside is fire. They got little sculptures all over the place. The island. I kind of do the black uh, countertops. Um, I know a lot of people just want a regular uh, granite, but I think that this looks good. They got, why is there a mirror right there? It doesn't look horrible, but it's definitely designed a little bit different. But I'm not gonna say I don't like it. So this house is okay. I, I assume that this is um, Trayvon Martin, RIP. I love the lights that they have. How y'all feel about this one? Y'all think that this one is all right? Or what y'all what y'all think? Y'all think it's worth 700, almost 750,000? I like the sliding door, you know what? We gotta, nah. They need to stop playing for real because they're showing us so much of the furniture that we can't even see what the house actually looks like. This looks freaking fire though. I don't know who is designing this house or who is decorating this house, but they need to help me because this looks good. This looks real good. What? Look at the light fixtures though. The light fixtures just look fantastic y'all. Like, and I really wish that we knew how big the actual house was because we don't even know what square footage this house is. Oh, I love this. I love the black tiling. I like this a lot. So this is a study area. I'm sure that they're counting this as a bedroom though. 
they just turned it into a, a office and it's probably a little bit smaller since we can't see a bunch of it but it looks good i feel like i'm kind of starting to understand this person's like, taste and um design choices it's hard being a realtor when you have like, an artistic background because <laughs> you want to look at the furniture fun fact before I got my um, a bachelor's degree, my original major was fashion merchandising. So I went to Virginia Commonwealth University. Now I'm like, getting my master's in uh, my MBA with a real estate concentration. So totally different, uh, totally different industries. I'm definitely I'm I'm liking it. I like the doors. You know what I mean. I don't think that there's a lot wrong with this house from what I can see. And honestly, I don't feel like they replaced the siding. I think they just painted it. I don't think that they did anything too crazy to it. But I love the deck. I think that that looks really, really good. The only thing that I really don't like is the landscaping. Um, the landscaping definitely needs some work. But they may have just came into this house and um, renovated it. That could have that could be the reason why it looks the way that it does. Or maybe not. Maybe people are actually living in this house because I see a little bicycle right here. So who knows what's going on. Homes, they hold so, so many different stories and we would never know exactly everything that was uh, going on with the house, yeah. especially like, if it's not a new construction. So the land, it has the potential to have some nice grass, but I'm pretty sure that something was going on with the, the grass and maybe they need to just have somebody come out and um, lay some seed down. So that's just the layout and all that good stuff. But I still don't understand why we didn't put the square footage on here. You can't even see dimensions of the house on the, the layout. So if I'm going to rate this house on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm probably going to give it a solid, like, I'm going to give it a 7, you know what I mean? Because I do think that the furniture is blinding my judgment a little bit, but um, actually, I'm going to give it a 6.5. I'm going to give it a 6.5 just to be fair, because like I said, I do think that the furniture is really making me like the house a lot more than what I would if the furniture wasn't in there. So I'm going to give it a 6.5.